Hello, my name's Dave. I'm with the Regal UK team at Telonic Instruments Limited, and this morning I'm going to be telling you about some menu features of the Spectrum Analyzer from Regal DSA815 that will help you with EMI EMC compliance measurements. There are several menu features that we want to look at today that will help you to meet standards. There are several customer applications where you need to meet a minimum amount of emission across the bandwidth and I'm going to be showing you some display line features and some pass fail line features which will help you with that. So on the instrument stand today what we've got here is the DSA875. This is a 7.5 GHz version of the DSA815 hot off the press just out. Regal have released 7.5 GHz version. This one is without a tracking generator. So down here, to act as a generator, I'm using the new Regal DSG 3000 series. This is a DSG 3060, 6 gigahertz uh, signal source, RF signal source, that will do IQ modulation up to 200 megahertz bandwidth. Very powerful instrument. I'm using it today as a sweep generator. And as you can see, I've been testing a directional coupler. Uh, normally uh, for EMC you'd be testing using a LISN for conducted emissions or using some near field probes which we also stock and uh, or you'd be using an antenna of some sort but today I just want to get a spectrum on the screen so up here on the DSA 875 screen is a spectrum that I have swept for my coupler spanning from 1 gigahertz down here through a center frequency of 3.75 up to 6 gigahertz. So that's 1 gigahertz to 6 gigahertz using a stepped sweep from the DSG. And as you can see, it's provided a quite interesting dip or notch. What I'm going to show you today is the user key. The user key over here has a display line feature on the DSA 800. So if I push the user key, you can see over here on the menus you can see a display function. If I push that button, you can see that there is an option for me to turn on a display line. And that display line gives me a very clear indication of a minimum level that I can set. So if I dial that up to say I want my emissions to be below this line, you can very clearly see that at one point it's above 21.5 dBm below zero. Uh, so that's a convenient way of putting a display line onto the screen. More usefully, where you have a standard for EMC to meet, you will normally see a pass-fail line across the screen showing the spectrum profile that you have to meet for your emissions. So what I'm going to show you right now is the menu underneath the trace and pass-fail button, which is this button here, trace pass-fail. If I push that, you'll see a pass-fail function appears under the trace pass-fail menu. If I, pass, if I press that, you will see I have the option to turn on a second kind of line. So if I turn that on right now, you'll see a purple line has also appeared on the screen. So what you can see I have done is to start to build a table of pass-fail around my profile. Uh, that would be the points that are in the international standard that you are trying to meet for emissions. And at this point you can see I want to add a further line. So I've gone into trace pass fail, I've gone into edit the points, and now what I'm going to do is to add point number four to my list. So I'm going to choose a point that allows us to demarcate this notch in the profile. So point four will be at 3.5 gigahertz and it will be at minus 34 dBm or minus, let's say minus 39, go on, why not? Uh, 39 minus dBm. Now, you can see immediately I've now added another notch to that profile. So any emissions that exceed that level, I can then say I want the, uh, I want the uh, pass fail to trigger. Uh, and there are a number of options on this menu. You can also save and print out your pass-fail table so that you've got an easy to recall limit line for your pre-compliance emissions standard. So that is how to set up uh, a display line and a pass-fail limit line using the DSA 800 series spectrum analyzers to assist your EMI and pre-compliance.